Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an MLS predictions video. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over the games, give some key points about each game, then give my prediction about who's going to win. So obviously we have the first and second seeds versus each other in the Western Conference, and the first and third seeds versus each other in the Eastern Conference. Those being LAFC versus Austin FC in the Western, and the Philadelphia Union versus NYCFC in the Eastern Conference. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first matchup that will be taking place this weekend will be the Supporter Shield winning LAFC versus the turnaround team Austin FC. Uh, Austin finished 12th last year previously in the Western Conference, and now they're one win away from a potential MLS Cup uh, victory. Um, each of them played in rivalry games this weekend, Austin partaking in the Dallas Derby, and um, uh, LAFC versus uh, LA Galaxy in El Trafico. It was a very back-and-forth game for LAFC as they got a 3-2 uh, win at home against LA Galaxy, and Austin gained a pretty easy 2-1 uh, win over Dallas. Um, as I was saying, it was a very back-and-forth game for LAFC. They got their first goal through a Bowanga goal. Then Grant Sear equalized it in the 44th. And then just uh, 10 minutes away from uh, extra time happening, Bowanga scored again. Then Javalich scored to make a 2-2. And just in the dying moments of the game, Arango scored a goal to uh, seal the win for uh, LAFC. Um, Austin got a pretty... Um, Comfortable win, as I was saying, over uh, Dallas, as they got two goals within three minutes of each other, held back Dallas's offense, except for a uh, 65th-minute goal from Velasco. Um, and Austin's attack really put off a usually strong Dallas defense. Um, and there's really nothing they could do about that. Austin have just deserved to get here. And it would be cool to see them make a run. Uh Everyone should not be counting out uh, Austin, though, as in their previous encounters, Austin have beaten uh, LA 2-1 away, or 2-1, yeah, 2-1 away, and 4-1 uh, at home. So I expect to be this, uh, or I expect this to be a pretty back-and-forth game. Uh, Buanga from LAFC should be getting at least one, as he's been doing pretty uh, good recently, but I also expect Drew Issy to get one. He's also been sp insane. I think he's Austin's top goal scorer this season, so I expect him to be doing well. Uh, Stuvert and uh, net for Austin has been really, really good, and I expect him to be stopping that strong uh, LA um, offense. So don't expect, as I was saying, don't expect it to just be a clear blowout win. Um, but also on the counter side, going away from Austin's defense, is uh, the LAFC have a, ver have a lot of very experienced MLS players. So this could per uh, have them prevail in the game, which I'm predicting them to do so. So my prediction, as I was saying, is a 2-1 victory for... LAFC potentially in extra time, maybe like a 123rd minute or something like goal, like we saw last year from Jacob Glesnas. But as I was saying, don't count Austin out as they could easily get um, uh, an upset and make it to the MLS Cup final. Moving over to the eastern sides of things, the Philadelphia Union will be versing NYCFC in a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference final being the same game at the same stadium. Uh, the Union should be going for revenge as last year. NYCFC beat them at their home stadium 2-1 to uh, as the Union were missing 11 key players, or 11 players, 6 key starters, including Blake, basically their entire defense and most of their midfield and attack. Uh, not to say that NYCFC weren't also uh, uh, shot down a bit by COVID, but the Union, I feel, experienced a bit more of it. Um... Uh, to flip over to NYCFC, they've been taking many, they took many chances against uh, Montreal, and their defense and Johnson just weren't letting anything get by, except for a um, 85th minute kind of just like desperation goal, would I say, from Halovic in uh, on Montreal, but there's nothing uh, remarkable, I'd say. So um, uh, a close win for the Union. Uh, as they got their one nothing uh, victory over Cincinnati this season, a team that they've been struggling to beat, as in their previous encounters, they've had a 1-1 draw and then a 3-1 loss um, to Cincinnati away. But it was a good uh, win. It was very 
close one. Both teams were playing rough, and both teams had many, many chances. The only person to capitalize, though, was Leon Flock with his first goal of the season, coming in the 59th minute to get the win for the Philadelphia Union. Uh, It's not just to say that the attack wasn't the only thing helping the Union. Andre Blake, uh, he was saving a lot of things, keeping the Union alive for most of the games. Some of the saves I might put on the screen have were just insane though. So, so to uh, go over what NYCFC have been doing, their midfield have been creating many many chances for their uh, attack. We, whether it be assists, just lofting balls in, they've just been um, creating many chances. So uh, the Union would like to watch out for that, which I'm hoping that uh, the Union CDM Jose Martinez might be able to do. So I'm hoping that he should he should be able to block some uh, chances, but some will still definitely get by him. Um, and also the Union are hoping for that their attack, that their front three will be pl- uh, playing a bit better as they were kind of, I want to say lackluster, but not really against um, Cincinnati on uh, Thursday. But to go over getting Carranza and Uar in the in their usual form, we gotta say how Carranza has his 23 goal contributions and Uar with his 19. Uh, there's gonna be many chances for the Union as a possible injury of uh, Cheneau on the uh, NYCFC and also Ta- and Talas Magno limping off. Uh, he might be gone, but the subs that took his place have been uh, holding strong, so the Union shouldn't just count out uh, that uh, position for them. Blake and Johnson, as I was saying, have just been keeping their uh, offense and defense alive this season. They've been playing a, they've been playing very very well uh, this season. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it'll be a high scoring game. But in reality, it's probably going to be a very low uh, scoring game as both goalies could just go go and go and just create many chances from their kicks and just save a bunch of chances from the opposing team. One thing I will say, though, is that uh, the Union have not lost a single game at home this season, uh, winning, uh, I forget how many games, but they, they've they obviously won and only drawn. They haven't lost at home this season, which I'm uh, believing will be a very key factor in what I'm predicting to be their victory against NYCFC on the weekend. And to go to my prediction, I'm saying it's going to be a one-all draw, but on penalties, the Union will win 4-3. to three. So it's going to be a very close game going down to the wire, but I ultimately believe that the Union will win on penalties. My uh, prediction video, uh, hopefully you guys like it and enjoy. If you have any like questions or anything, leave them in the comments. If you like this kind of video, the predictions and everything, please like say something in the comments because I might do more of these because it was pretty fun to record. So that's all I really got to say. I might go over Prem, La Liga, Champions League, a bunch of stuff like that. But do expecting to be uh, seeing many more videos in this kind of kind of uh, format. So without um, anything else to say, see you guys uh, next time.